Hi, it's the Brook of That Gratitude Guy. Today, last laugh. Now, what is that all about? I've had a lot of people tell me, hey, Brooker, I've been grateful. I've been writing my gratitude journal. I've been reframing and refocusing everything I have that I'm grateful for and what I have versus what I don't have. And I'm not seeing anything happen yet. And I said, hey, hang in there. Just be patient. Remember, patience is a virtue. And I keep saying, don't forget, you'll have the last laugh. Trust me, gratitude will continue to frame your life with everything you have versus what you don't have and you will move towards helping people, helping yourself and making a better life and probably as important as anything, having things happen in your life that you want to have happen. That's why I talk so much about gratitude intentions. If you haven't watched the Steve Jobs commencement speech, it was the 2005 Stanford commencement speech, I highly recommend it on YouTube. One of the big things he talks about, it's about a 15 minute speech, is you can connect the dots backwards, but you cannot connect them forwards. You will find out why things are happening to you. You can't look now into the future, but you can look now into the past and see why those things happen. So embrace gratitude, write in your gratitude journal, reframe and refocus everything you have in your life that you're grateful for versus you're not having in your life or you don't have. Don't worry about that. You will move towards that. That's what gratitude tensions are. You will manufacture that thought in your brain. You've set a target. Your brain subconsciously takes you to where you need to go. Remember, as I've said before, if you want to help yourself, help other people, trust me, it'll work. And in the end, you will have the last laugh. Trust me, it works. Have a grateful day. We'll see you tomorrow.